I had this idea. Can Devin Laird throw a frisbee? Devin, you haven't uh, thrown a frisbee for us. Uh, I haven't thrown a frisbee since I was like uh, growing up on the farm. 17, uh, 17 years old? Yeah. It's the first time he held a frisbee in how long? Yeah, it's like probably 30 years. <laughs> Guys, his, uh, his arms are screwed up from arm wrestling. Are you nervous? I am nervous. Every time there's a camera on me, I get nervous. He's a little nervous. All right. Okay, okay. All right. Not well, a bad start. I didn't really think that through. I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs> that's it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Let's throw it a few more times. Yeah. Just I don't know why you wouldn't. I, you know, I, I want to try a couple. I used to throw it this way. Really? I used to, yeah. Like this? I used to, yeah. All right, I'm going to throw it behind the back. OK. Ready? Oh, you're a pro. OK, I'm going to try it like this. <laughs> okay, I gotta work on that one a bit. I used to be able to be ambidextrous with these. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw a bit harder. <laughs> You're pretty good, Devin. First, be pretty good cardio. Can I program this for my bodybuilding show? Be like, yeah, yeah. What do you do for cardio? I just play frisbee in the morning. Work those extensions. Yeah. Sam, uh, do you want to throw it? I'm good at catching you. Uh, okay. Try my other hand. <laughs> I, I think I think we're okay. We answer the question. We can both throw a frisbee, but here, let's do a couple spoof ones. Neither of us can catch a damn one. No. <laughs> There's okay. no way. There's no it's, way you can throw can it this Sam far. Can Sam film frisbee? We'll answer that question too. Hey now. There we go. That was pretty good. Ah, shit. Can a uh, calorie depleted, very tired, yeah. exhausted bodybuilder do a backflip 11 days out? Oh my god, you are kidding me! Oh, Juji Mufu, everybody. Juji Mufu. catch up for Devin for a bit. We'll, we'll sit down and we'll talk. We'll catch up on some stuff. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. There's probably so much to talk about. You gotta check the members area of the YouTube channel. Just hit the join button. There's a couple extra conversations there. I don't know, maybe we could do a bunch of videos. We, we could do, uh, can Devin Laird still throw a softball? Oh, no. Can Devin Laird still throw a bowling ball? Oh. Can Devin Laird still hit a golf ball? There's very little that I can still do. If you go on most internet message boards, I can barely still arm wrestle. Really? Now, I haven't looked at the hate the arm wrestling oh, he has. I don't incredible. get into it. Really? It's incredible. We all see this and we all live in these worlds where there's so much disrespect and internet hate and bad comments. And we think everyone else sees it, but they don't. No, I know. I know. You have to be like right in the trenches. You have to be into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that. Like, I'll go to, I'll look at my YouTube comment section and it'll be some bunch of shit in there. Yeah. Usually Nobody all, knows. <laughs> all the hate seems to roll in yeah. uh, after a few days. For, yeah. So one of the trolls are always late to the party. Yeah. But it's like, you think everyone's looking at what they're saying, but it's like. No, they're not. And then I go to other people's videos and I know how to find those comments. Yeah. And then I go look through them. And I'm like, I've never seen any of these. And I don't think these things they're saying about the person I'm watching the video about. And this is interesting. We think we're being publicly humiliated when we're really not. No. No. Nobody's listening to your hate comments when you comment on a video six months later, guys. <laughs> well, what do people say about you in the arm wrestling community? That, that is, what can How you, about this? What can you say bad on about On this man? video, please, please unload all your negative feelings. Oh, man. My so audience, that we can collect them. No way. My audience loves you. You're one of the most requested people for me to collab with. And, well, uh, well, well, you know what's going to be interesting is uh, we're collabing with all of us. 
That's gonna be a party. And the boogs. That's gonna be a party. I've never met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing, no secret, secret project, guys. We're doing Avenger collabs moving yeah, it's forward. Like, it's like That's gonna be part of the future of this YouTube channel. Is uh, <laughs> put it. Marvel. Fitness Marvel. You know. <laughs> I, I will want to wrestle, Eric. I think. You want to er wrestle, Eric? You know he's a professional wrestler. I know. But that hasn't stopped me in the past. I want to see him arm wrestle you. He looks strong. I don't think he's ever been on an arm wrestling table. Really? No, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a fresh Brand new dude. Fresh Perfect. moldable hand. Awesome. He's gonna tear something. No, he's <laughs> not gonna tear anything. No, not with no. Devin, he's not gonna tear anything. Let's let's put a mic on Antoine real quick. You, you know, put the lab know. on, you have a mouthful of <laughs> walnuts. <laughs> no, I just think it's funny. The first thing he does when he when I actually give him properly mic is he just starts speaking with a mouthful of walnuts. This guy's prepping for the Olympia too. Yeah. How many we got? Actually, he didn't beat me at the Vancouver Pro not long ago. Yeah. You know, no first I was second place. Oh, wow. then, I, then I did the show the following week what? and I won that one. A couple more arm wrestling sessions, you should put your arm on the table against him. <laughs> what? Yeah, a couple more. Just throw, start, start integrating it into your arm day. Just That's a one. couple more. No, I like this part here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Devin made a great point. We were talking after the uh, the video we did earlier with uh, the arm wrestling. You can intelligently cross over sports. Like, you could have arm wrestling as arm day for bodybuilding. That way you're training both sports. Well, you could do it at the end of your arm day. Just do the fucking holding and yeah, or you could stuff. start arm day with arm wrestling and then move on to finish. It would be hard to do like um. No, no. I, I think look at some arm wrestlers, dude. They got some big fucking arms, big arms. But are, for their arms, are they only doing arm wrestling? No, they do arm wrestling exercises. Yeah, they actually do targeted exercises too. Hmm. They're just straight. They just look a little different. The angles are different. I'm saying that there is got to be some positive crossover between bodybuilding and arm wrestling if yeah. you find it. I think it's like that for most sports. That's one of my that's one of my missions in life is to find the crossovers so that everyone can figure out a way to to try to experience to do everything. the right amount of things. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that arm wrestlers are doing a lot of extra stability, you know, through the wrists and through the elbows, yeah. you know. A lot of that's probably not necessary for bodybuilding, but you can always change the ratio so you're getting more bodybuilding out of it if you're a bodybuilder. Yep. But just enough arm wrestling so that if you wanted to get on the table more often, you could. All right, guys, <laughs> uh, go uh, s subscribe to their channels. Check out Devin and Antoine and go uh, Google search uh, toe wrestling. But also we got some members only videos where we're going to continue some discussions about things here in the member section of the website. You just hit the hit the damn join button. It's yeah. it's cheap and it's Johnny fun. There's like we're going to have hundreds of videos pretty I'll soon because wrestling. I'm just yeah, I'll tell wrestling. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your only toes? Only toes fans. Only toes, only toes. Yeah, only yeah. Toe. One toe.